hello everyone let's discuss about the routing in this class we are going to do basic stuff about routing okay so we are going to learn what is routing but before going to routing protocol let's see routed protocol because sometime in interview you will get this question what is routed protocol so in simple and short you need to remember routed protocol is nothing but ipv4 ipv6 is a example of routed protocol so we can define in this way routed protocol are the actual okay routed protocol are the actual data that is transfer from router to router like we can say ipv4 ipv6 is an example of routed protocol and if you see we can say another way also like routed protocol is used to send the user data from one network to another network routed protocol carry user traffic such as file transfer email web traffic etc so we can define in words try to understand the concept and reproduce in your own words now what is routing if you see here we can say forwarding of packet from one network to another network is known as routing forwarding of packet from one network to another network is known as routing we can define this way also and let's see routing protocol we can say routing protocol are used by the router to exchange the information about known network okay known network example let me take my whiteboard example i have one router here i can say this is the r1 this is a r2 and in between we can say this interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 of r1 and this is a r2 i can say fast ethernet 0 by 0 of r2 and here this interface we will use the ip as 192.168.1.1 and this interface i will use the ip 192.168.1 here we can see i have one network here that is 1.1.1.1 i have another network here that is 2.2.2.2 so now if i did not configure any routing protocol here then this router r2 don't know anything about this network okay let me repeat again see here imagine i will assign this ip to this interface okay loop back 0 and i will assign this ip to this interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 of r1 and this ip to this interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 of r2 and this one to the loop back 0 this one and when i check inside this one i will not have the information about this network in r r1 same like that i will not have this information in r2 so what we need to do why they uh, they don't know anything about this one because they cannot exchange the information only they know directly connected directly connected network they can understand whatever the network example this one is connected to him this interface this interface that is a fast ethernet 0 by 0 is connected to this router and this loop back 0 is also connected to this router so this router should know about this only this two interface information he don't know anything about this one and this one so what we need to do we need to configure the routing protocol so with the help of routing protocol they are going to learn they are going to exchange the known network they are going to exchange the known network example imagine this guy r2 know about this information so when we configure the routing protocol r2 is going to exchange he is going to send this information to r1 and r1 is knowing this information r1 know 1.1.1 so r1 is going to exchange to r2 let me repeat r1 is going to exchange 1.1.1 information to r2 so r2 know where is 1.1.1 same like that r1 no where is 2.2.2 when we configure the routing protocol if if we did not configure any routing protocol then r1 don't know anything about 2.2.2 and r2 don't know anything about 1.1.1 so 
so what we can say we can define in simple words example if you see here routing protocol are used by the router to exchange the information about known network router will tell initially only know the existing of the directly connected or attached network what i can say router initially they will know only about the directly connected or attached network information with the help of use with the help of routing protocol router learn different network information from different router and make communication with them you can reproduce this in your own words no need to remember no need to by heart this one just you need to understand that router directly connected or whatever attached to him he know only that information example this one whatever is connected to him whatever is attached to him he know only that information he don't know any other information okay but when you configure the routing protocol then what they will learn they will learn the different network from the different router and they will make the communication between them okay so this way we can define about the routing protocol this is simple and short if you want this is a example you can remember this way routed protocol means ip ipv4 ipv6 okay and we can say routing protocol means rif version 1 rif version 2 ospf eagrp bgp isis this one we can say routing protocol example this one we can say routed protocol example okay so this is a overview about the routing protocol thank you bye